VMH International, a Siemens business partner, invites you to take a fresh look at NX. The expert staff at VMH stand ready to assist you with implementing the entire Siemens PLM portfolio. This includes Team Center, NX, NX Cam, and Solid Edge. In this video, I will show you a few quick tips and tricks for using the Revolve feature, trimming a part with datum planes, and the whole feature. I shot this whole video in one take so you can see just how quick and easy it is to use NX. I will start out by entering the sketch environment. From here, I will proceed to sketch half of the part so that I can do a 360 degree revolve. Alternatively, I could have sketched the entire cross section and revolved 180 degrees. One feature that I find comes in handy is that you can enter equations into the dimension box. For instance, I typed the diameter given by the sketch and added a divided by 2 after it, rather than having to go search for my calculator. The auto dimensions given by the sketch here aren't very useful to me, but as you can see, simply setting new dimensions will overrule the auto dimensions, making them disappear. Now that I've set the dimensions for this part, I'm going to place the circle at the end of the line. Once I have everything set, I'll trim away what I don't need using the quick trim feature. Before I trim away the circle, I'm going to show you another key sketch feature, quick extend. I'll intentionally set this line too short and make use of the quick extend feature to make sure it touches the circle. Now I can trim away the excess lines and finish the sketch. The next step is to revolve. I'm going to show you a very useful feature in Revolve that often goes overlooked or unnoticed. Instead of setting a vector and a point, I can simply click the line of the sketch I want to revolve around. This saves time and thinking. I'm now going to show you how to use datum planes to trim parts of your solid model. Once we enter the datum plane feature, we click the drop down arrow and select at distance. I'll type in my distance, set the datum plane big enough to encompass my part, and hit apply. Then I'll do the same thing for the other side. Now that the datum planes are set, I'll use the trim body feature. Once I enter the feature, I select the solid body, then my datum plane, confirm the direction of the trim, and hit OK. Then I'll do the same for the other side. I'll quickly hide the datum planes and any other unnecessary sketches, and I'll start a new sketch. The idea here is to sketch off the flat piece at the end of the cylinder. I'll quickly use the rectangle sketch feature, dimension it, and finish the sketch. Then I'll show you how to extrude at an offset. Now I'll enter the extrude feature. I can type in whatever I want into the start and end boxes, so I'll choose to start my subtract from the specified distance. I will then set my boolean to subtract, make sure my extrude goes all the way through, and hit apply. Then I'll do the same thing for the other side. Using the same sketch twice can save you quite a bit of time. The only thing we have left to do is create the two holes. For this first one, I'm going to show you a quick trick to make concentric hole creation a snap. If you are creating a hole in the middle of a round part, you can simply click the circular edge and the hole will snap to the center. After that, we specify the hole diameter and hit OK. Finally, we will use the sketch feature to place a point on this flat face for the hole. Once we have placed and dimensioned the point, we will click Finish Sketch, set the hole parameters, and hit OK. I 
I hope this video has shown you a quick overview of some of the design features within NX. If you are interested in more, please visit our YouTube page or our website at www.vmhinternational.com.